about this week's vlog just because I have a lot going on that I'm excited to show you guys and I'm so excited to show you guys my new apartment in LA and I want to show you guys the office. Everything is really coming together here which is really, really exciting. Everything so far, knock on wood, has gone quite seamlessly so that's nice. The routine that I've made here in LA in the past month is really really different than my other routines that i've ever had in my whole life i haven't always been an influencer i've had other jobs but i've never had a job quite like this i never worked in an office i always worked in retail or in restaurants so this routine has been very very different the hours are very different the structure is very different and it has been so good for me honestly i'm going to the gym a lot i'm waking up earlier my days are longer but i'm honestly like sleeping better i'm spending way less time on my phone so all really exciting things building so many amazing products there's so much in the works with our brands with some collaborations we're doing it's just really exciting so thank you guys for supporting me i do feel like i was thinking about it this morning that i feel like very different. I feel like my life has changed a lot in the past two months in a way that I can't really describe, but I think that you guys will see in my channel. Um, I've been doing a lot of thinking about everything. I've been doing a lot of reflecting and thinking, and I just feel like with this office opening, my mindset on so many things has really changed and i feel like spending time with more people throughout the day collaborating with people working with people learning from people has just really shifted my perspective on like what's really important and i just find myself stressing less about little stupid things and like living less online i'm just feeling very positive and good about the work that i'm putting into my brand and it's my main focus it's my main focus over literally everything and that's been very healthy for me so yeah i just wanted to check in with you guys i just packed myself like a little snack i guess for the office and i'm gonna go drive there now today's a very busy day in the office because we have a drop coming up obviously things get much busier around drops so i have a bunch of meetings today in the office and then i have some errands to run and then tommy's actually landing tonight from Mexico. I'm so excited to see him. I have a very very busy week until Indian Wells So it'll be fun to vlog. I have two photo shoots tomorrow. One is for Dairy Boy We're shooting our PDPs for the website, which is just our product images just for the website And then I have a really fun shoot with another tennis girlfriend, which you guys will see tomorrow I am you guys might have seen her on my channel or on my Instagram. She's amazing. She's one of my close friends I have a shoot with her tomorrow on something very exciting that is going to be out soon so i don't know how much i can share of that but you guys will see it soon and i will do a little bit behind the scenes of that so yeah i'm gonna head to work now guys it's so weird to be driving in la again la no matter how much time i spend here for work and obviously i have a place here now it just still feels very very foreign to me i feel like anyone from the east coast or even maybe the midwest would probably say that LA feels very foreign, but I've definitely gained an appreciation for LA. I still get asked quite a few questions from people saying, why did you pick to base your company and have your headquarters in LA? And I totally understand that question. If you're in the garment manufacturing clothing industry, I think you might understand why I did it, but I did it for a lot of reasons. Our warehouses here, our goods come into LA, and then also the people that I wanted to hire were really in LA just because I'm a lifestyle brand. I'm not necessarily like a fashion house or a fashion brand. The people that I wanted to hire to collaborate with to build this brand with me, the, all the people that I really connected with were in LA. The style is honestly just much more relaxed here and I feel like a little bit more vintage focus, at least the designers that I interviewed with. But anyways, like I was saying, I just have a very newfound appreciation for this place and for LA, which is really cool. But through that, I've also realized how a lot of the times in my early 20s, I would blame the city that I was in and like the people in the city that I was in. And I really do truly believe now that 
It's about finding the purpose in the place that you're in. I believe that any city can be amazing. Obviously some cities have more to them um, that makes it easier to love them, but I think that finding a purpose, whether it's a hobby, whether it's a job that you really like, is so important in your baseline happiness. And I never really realized for multiple reasons why I wasn't feeling fulfilled, why I wasn't feeling good in the cities that I was in. You know, like I obviously went through some personal stuff in my 20s that contributed to that, but I do really feel like for a while I lacked purpose and my job as a creator and an influencer wasn't really fulfilling me. I would go to say a lot of influencers probably feel that way. Not all of them, but I definitely feel like a lot of influencers might feel like they lack purpose in their work sometimes like I did or any job that might be freelance um, because you don't have that collaborative experience with other people you don't have an office you have to show up to you don't have structure um, a lot of the time the content can be like sort of self-serving and I know that my content offered comfort to people I do have a very loyal community of you guys that have been with me through all of it which was nice but I definitely needed a change um, so yeah, I'm going to focus on getting to work and I will see you guys there. I'm gonna start documenting your outfit of the days. <laughs> yeah, get, take me viral. <laughs> take me viral. Really? Okay, well, let's see the fit. <laughs> I can't. I need one. The fits are good. The fits are good. Really? Yeah. I think Tommy could wear this. <laughs> Okay, just got back from my errands. I'm gonna do a little crate and barrel haul for you guys. I just got some basic stuff for my kitchen, some utensils, these bigger bowls, paper towel holder, this glass Tupperware, strainer, those really pretty plates, a cutting board, dish cloths. I really love these. I have been, I feel like to crate and barrel like a lot in the past year because of the house in Florida and I just like home goods and these are so pretty. And then I got this beautiful green roasting dish. Tommy is not feeling well, so I'm gonna make him some soup. Okay, vlog, I'm just sitting here on my bathtub and I thought I would do a little Sephora kind of unbox. I'm probably not gonna open everything, but I got a lot of stuff. But I ended up leaving a lot of my makeup in Florida um, I had this idea of like having my basic makeup in each spot so I don't have to travel with it, but like, I don't know how that's gonna work out, but we'll see. I'm just gonna share a few of my favorite things that I got. So I really love this Tarte Quick Stick shadow and liner. I do it in my waterline and it's this like smoky brown and then there's a little like shimmer for the corner. I think it's really easy and pretty, so love this. I got a NARS concealer. I have not used the NARS concealer in so long, but I always end up coming back to it. I think it's really nice for more natural makeup days. I actually don't even know what this is. Oh, I got a lip liner in Rosebud. Um, oh, that's really pretty. I love pink-ish brown lips if you haven't already noticed that that's a really pretty color i got another eyebrow pencil just the benefit one got another iconic nude by charlotte Tilbury. i forgot these in florida but i've been using them instead of the drunk elephant drops just to like give them a try not saying that they're better yet i do like them though sometimes the drunk elephant drops can like separate if you guys know what i'm saying so this feels like a little bit thinner i like this so far I wish that someone would make a cool toned 
bronzing drop. Not so orange, but I do like this. It's the Key Largo by Tarte. I got another NARS Light Reflectant Foundation. This is one of my favorites. I absolutely love this foundation, but I'm this weird in between right now where I'm like tan, but I'm not as tan as I am in Florida, but I'm also not as pale. I'm not like my winter shade, so I got this like in between shade. I got this Milk Cosmetics Bronzing in Blitzed. I used this one in Blaze, which I bought because I ran out. Um, but this is quite a deep color that I thought would be really pretty for um, like eye shadow. Um, I use a lot of really dark bronzers on my eyes as a bronzer. And I feel like it just really like looks really nice and lived in throughout the whole day and very like natural and dewy. So giving this a go. I've never tried this before, but I have used Blaze. And I got a Pink Venus by Charlotte Tilbury. This is my second favorite lip liner by Charlotte Tilbury. I think Iconic Nudes is my favorite, Pink Venus, and then the classic Pillow Talk. So I got another one of these. Okay, guys, I am so excited for this. So I'm a huge lip tint girl. I just am obsessed with lip tints. I feel like on every makeup video that I've done on any of my socials, I've always included one of the lip tints and they came out with a new color or it's new to me. It is Flora Tint in, what's the shade? Desert Rose. So it's like a deeper tint. It's not a, a light pink one that I use a lot and it's not the like cherry one. It's more, wow, this is definitely gonna be a staple. I have a feeling for me. Right, next I got this Tarte foundation brush. Mine was falling apart, so I got a new one of these. And next I just got some of their face masks. I do really like their face masks. They're easy. I love having these around. And next I picked up the L'Oreal Detox Mask. I went on a brand trip with L'Oreal to Paris for this product and it was really cool because they actually brought us in the labs in Paris where L'Oreal is based and they showed us all of the science and all the hard work they put into this product and I just have such a different appreciation and mindset towards especially hair care because of the amount of science and time and energy that goes into these products. Sometimes I felt like, oh, another healing, hydrating, restorative hair mask. Like, okay, did you just slap a different label on it? But seeing this, particularly this in the lab made me view some products differently, especially this product, because um, I saw the actual science behind it and then I've actually seen results in my own hair. This is not an ad, but it's the Metal Detox by L'Oreal and because of the amount of traveling I do and I'm not always in the same shower with a shower filter, this is just really good for your hair. And then I just got a little dry shampoo. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm a little under the weather. Are you feeling better? Yeah, I got some chicken noodle soup in. Now we're gonna get some TVs and in and out. Tommy and I are going to get a TV for my place and he's insisting on getting in and out. Which probably is not smart. No, not at all. That's what I'm thinking. Like, it's gonna make you feel so sick. I really just want the milkshake, which is actually probably Ooh. even worse. <laughs> I could go for a milkshake though. No, me too. But like, it's gonna make me feel worse for sure. Yeah, for sure. But I'll get yellow. Are you practicing tomorrow? Yeah, I'm about to fucking lock in this week. You're gonna lock in? Yeah, like you're gonna no Tommy time. No Tommy time? Uh huh. Well, I don't have any time for Tommy anyways. Ooh. No. <laughs> Got me there. <laughs> Good morning vlog. I'm about to run out to the first shoot of the day, which is for Dairy Boy. I'm just wearing this little sweatsuit. So what we did last night. We made additions to the apartment. We did. Tommy bought me a TV. We haven't even turned it on yet. We have not. We fell asleep. Bye. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> He's back. I jack it, Tommy's back.
number two. Okay, we are finally done for the day. But it was such a good, productive, fun day. The shoot with Diane was particularly really fun. I just love her. It was just very fun and silly. I just shot an ad for Moon Juice, the hydration mini do one, and it's super good. I'm actually gonna drink this whole thing because I'm feeling very dehydrated. Love you. This is gonna look so pretty. Don't you think? Mm-hmm. All right, baby. All right, love you. All right, just got dressed and ready for the day. I'm heading to a meeting now, and then we're gonna head to the office. Okay, just got out of the meeting that I had. I don't know if I can share, but the meeting was with an active wear brand that we are gonna be doing a collaboration with Dairy Boy. So that's very, very exciting. I think you guys will be really excited about it. Thank you.